Are you pleased with that? Yes, sir, I am. It's better than I expected for our first day. Then I'm sure we'll do even better today. Uh, begging your pardon, Captain. Mr. Hitchens has requested his course. Increase speed, Mr. Murdoch, to 21 knots, and set course west-northwest, 292 degrees. That's the northern track, sir. I'm well aware of that. It will save us both coal and time, at least three hours. Three hours? Oh, well done, E.J. The dinner seating for Friday, April 12th, is now being served in the first class dining saloon. E.J., you haven't told us how many miles we covered yesterday. 519, Mr. Oh. Ismay. Much better. I'm sorry to disturb you. Who the you. devil are you? Wireless opera operator Bride with the Marconi International. What is it, Mr. Bride? The Rappahannock, four days out of Halif Halifax. She reports an I. Thank you, Mr. Bride. I can read. Right. I mean, I, I, sir. The dinner seating for Saturday, April 13th, is now being served in the first class dining saloon. Mrs. Astor, I understand this was your first trip to Europe? Her first, but certainly not her last, Mrs. White. Certainly not her last. And how did you find Paris, Mrs. Astor? Oh, well, thank goodness I didn't have to. Shake me right where it was. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Captain. Yes, Mr. Lightoller. Have you any instructions, sir, concerning our present speed? Maintain 21 knots, Mr. Lightoller. 21 knots. Yes, sir. 21 knots, E.J.? Come, come. I promised these gentlemen we would arrive in New York no later than sundown Tuesday, and at this rate, we'll never make it. I'm afraid it's too soon for either of us to say, Mr. Ismay. I trust you'll forgive me. Oh, must you leave us, Captain? Unfortunately, Mrs. Thayer, my duties on the bridge, though not nearly as pleasant as conversing with you lovely ladies, require my attention. Please, excuse me. <laughs>